every inch of sway takes about 10 degrees of rotation away. So if we set you prop ball right there, you see my see my shadow, uh -huh. how it stays right there. What yep. would we what would we see? I mean, there it is every time for you. Every year we do this, and after two swings we go, well, shouldn't we just play like that? Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. So that one, I felt myself slide. And guys, what's the sliding doing? Think about it. Just, if I'm hitting towards Kurt right here, and the club's in this position, well, if I'm sliding, it just stays there. So, you know, watch what happens if I rotate. That's what gets everything, you know, towards the target. Don't let rotation pull you out of the shot. Let rotation keep you in it. Moving into it this way. I need you to be able to stay still and rotate more around your spine angle. That's where you're losing that pop. So when you're getting, you're getting ahead of the golf ball. And that's what I want to show you in here. You know, watch this. When I see it right here, turn, not bad with a turn, but see that body moving out ahead of it. Mm -hmm. So when I say out ahead of it, you know, if I drew the line here, see how you're moving ahead of it. Mm -hmm. And then as you do that, you have to slowly get rid of the golf club and there's that loss of power. Every inch of sway takes about 10 degrees of rotation away. So if we set you properly and prevent the two inches of sliding that you have that's excessive, well essentially there's 20 more degrees of rotation that you'll be able to move that way. So that's why it's important for me. I don't see you tip back, forcing you to, to slide into it. You just create the spine angle with your hips bumping forward, stay more centered, and then rotate more around your lead leg. A great drill when you're just freely working without a golf ball. Look at the shadow. Kev, come over my uh, back of my head here. Uh, Kurt, I love doing this, and I love when the shadow's long like this, because watch this. I can create, there's that hip bump without moving my head. There's my spine angle. And then w watch, the, watch the ball right there. You see my, see my shadow, uh -huh. how it stays right there? What, yep. would we, what would we see? We'd see. Okay. But the ability just to rotate in one place. I used to do this all the time to train my body what it felt to stay centered throughout my swing. Kind of like Jack Nicholas's old coach holding, holding the hair. Why do I always have you do the left leg drill every year? Right. And that always gets you back on track? Because it creates that post and it creates a sensation for you to more rotate around him every year so with Kurt. don't rotate over it. That's been your go-to drill for seven years now. Yep. Okay. This is our old go-to drill that we've always done. And this helps Kurt not slide. When he has only one leg, you know, there's, there's nowhere to go. So stagger that right one back. There you go. Make it even narrower for me, buddy. Like, yeah, there you go. Put your big toe right in line with it right there. There you okay. go. That, there's the good spot. I mean, there it is every time for you. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Every year we do this, and after two swings we go, well, shouldn't we just play like that? Uh, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I actually saw somebody do that the other day. Did they you? played like that. Yeah. And I, sh I tried it when I, was, when I played with Tyler last time. Yeah. And everything was going right. I couldn't keep it in the fairway at all. I you tried it. You drop it like, back. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's still a, I was doing well, because you get the takeaway. The takeaway. So we want yeah. the toe on the ball. Toe on the ball. And the reason why I do this, by the way, I want the viewer to see this. Reason why I put the toe on the ball. Ball positions relative to the middle of your stance mm -hmm. being your sternum, not your feet. So when you're narrowing up like this, it's like chipping, right? You tell a player to play it back and they're narrow like this and they play it on the inside of their big foot. Well, think about where that is. It's still in the middle of their body. That's why you'll see some of the best in the world when they're narrow, almost off the right outside of their foot, because it actually should be off the armpit and shoulder for that bump and run. Well, think about this. The reason I got your big toe when you're narrow, well, that's where an eight iron would be, about an inch, inch and a half ahead of center. Okay, so that's why we okay. move that off the toe there. Good little explanation of how to do this drill properly. Yeah, because relative to his center, that ball position is correct. And I think the one thing that I did well, that I, I wonder if my students do sometimes, is they do the drill, and the drill works out great, but they just do the drill. And then they go back to their swing, and it's like, well, did you connect the drill to your swing now? See, I literally thought after doing this, well, I felt how that felt in this leg. I tried to create as much of that same feeling as possible with my lower body that I, that I could. And, and, and I think that's what you need to do when, you, when you're in here now. Create that same hip shift. Create that post. Be very aware of what that feels like throughout your swing. There you go. Beautiful, bud. Beautiful swing there. I mean, that was right on the money.
I can't harp on you enough about this and our viewer. Um, the big thing about getting better when it comes to golf and understanding how to translate, you know, a couple thoughts into a move that's taking two seconds. Um, rehear the power of a positive rehearsal. You know, I've had the same takeaway rehearsal for 20 years, so that's why my takeaway never changes. It's not even a thought, it's a feeling. And I think that it's important that we keep reminding, you know, you, the viewer, translate these thoughts into feelings. You know, try to find one backswing thought, one downswing thought, try to even narrow it down to just one thing overall. Try that not, try to not have that by the time you play even be a thought but be a complete rehearsal. So for you, it's like, yes, we do have 10 and 10 with a nice turn, but hold on, that, that's not even a thought. That's just, the thought goes into my rehearsal and then stay down in it as I rotate. Stay down in it as I rotate. So the staying centered and staying down, you know, you can't be thinking on the downswing. Stay centered, stay down, drive the handle. It's your best swing just right there came after a complete rehearsal where not only did you do your takeaway, you did your downswing and all you did was you got in there on the next swing, didn't think, but you just repeated what you just felt. Right. That's the key, that's okay. the key. There it is, there it is. And when Kurt does it right, Shot Tracer will pick this up today, frozen ropes. At Forzac Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.